What is going on guys? It is your boy BXA Element and we're gonna do something a little different. This is not gonna be a clip based video or gameplay. I'm gonna show you my personal favorite class setup for the RKT or the R3K, whatever you'd like to go by. Um, I have a pre setup class now, so I just wanna show you guys what I think. Always with this gun, it's got horrible iron sights, I feel. So I like to use the ELO or the Reflect. I mean, in all honesty, it's kind of just, um, it's a preference thing. If you like the Trojan or whatever, feel free. But me personally, I like a red dot, and it just makes it so much easier because this gun does have some recoil, and it will bounce around. It's not like the Volk. It's pretty good, to be honest. But that's just what I like to use. And then um, I definitely need a quick draw. I have to have that. I need that fast pull up, especially with an AR because medium to long range with this gun, you're gonna straight melt people. Like, no joke. But if you're like close range, you're gonna lose pretty, probably like, I'd say 80% of the time. You may get lucky, but yeah, most times you will not. You're just gonna get melted, as I have experienced. Um, so yeah, you need the quick draw, and I personally like this, the product lamp. It gives me more range and better accuracy. But if you choose not to run, like, um, if you don't want to do like Ghost or Scavenger or Dead Silence, whatever, right? So like, like, just say you don't want that for some, just for a reason, and you want to throw an extra attachment on. Um, most people would probably use stock, but since this is an energy-based weapon and it doesn't have that much kick to begin with, um, I go with the slug. Because I try to go for, you know, high chest to the face shots. So if I get that headshot and this gives me extra damage, you know I want that. That is what I want for sure. It's going to fuck them up even better. But also something else you can do instead, you can use the ram servo. Because I find like if I put damage on somebody and then they try to come around a corner or even better like um, on the town map um, where they go where the train track is, they try to back up there. I can angle my shot and it banks. So they already have damage. And then I bank shot some uh, energy bullets in there and they die because they can't get away from me because of the reflections. But if you're going to try to use it to do strictly bank shots, I'm telling you, don't. It's a waste of time. I've seen a video by Chaos X Silencer where he tried doing kills like that, and it took like eight to nine shots. No joke. It doesn't matter how far the distance was, but it was just one bounce or two bounces, and then a hit marker. It was eight hit markers before they died. So it's only good in this situation if you put damage on somebody, and they're trying to run away, and they run into a building, and you can bank shot real quick. You'll, you definitely will pick up the kill. Um, so that's just a little tip I might be, uh, you know, for me to you, because, you know, that's what I like to do for you guys. And I'm sure you guys like to see a little bit of different content also. But say you don't have the epic version, right? Say you just have a legendary or the normal version. It, it really doesn't change. Like, just because that's a full auto, it does have more recoil, which makes it a little harder to control. But say with this one where it's just a burst, you could probably get away with the iron sights. And you could probably, you know, throw stock on, you know, could give you some more mobility, or you could easily throw a suppressor on. But please do not use foregrip. It is so useless. It doesn't have a good effect. For the firing of most of the guns anyways, they have very little kick to begin with. You do not need foregrip. I'm telling you, you could just throw that air. Don't even think about it unless, you know, Infinity Ward fixes it in a later patch down the road. So, yeah. Please don't. Anything else here is better than foregrip. But if you're not going to run a site and you have an extra spot, I would suggest um, the suppressor or, as I said, ramp servo or the slug if you have it unlocked. But if you don't have scavenger unlocked, make sure you use the fusion mag. Like you need it, okay? Or if you're not, if you don't have that unlocked or scavenger. Make sure you run the specialist that starts you with maximum ammo, which is the Merc. Um, yeah, guys. So that's what I like to do. This is my setup for um, the R3K gun. Pretty basic, pretty simple. I hope you guys try it out because it definitely will help you out. I promise. And uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. Just a short little quick video that I wanted to you know, throw my two cents in the pool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, share, like, and subscribe, guys. Um, I need another 12 subscribers, I believe, and I hit 100, so let's, let's try to get me there, you know, it would mean so much. 
So yeah, it's your boy, BXA Element, signing out until the next one. Much love, guys, and be sure to try out these attachments. Peace.